G'day, g'day everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And today is going to be a very exciting day because recently I bought some LED lights to replace the old halogen bulbs currently fitted to my scooter. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can install them on your scooter as well. In my mind, there are three reasons why this is something worth doing, not just to mopeds, but also motorcycles and cars as well. Number one, they last forever. Well, when I say forever, I mean a really long time. The lights I bought supposedly last up to 40,000 hours, which is long enough to ride this thing halfway to the moon. What this means in practice is that you'll basically never need to worry about replacing the bulbs. Number two, they're much brighter. An LED with the same wattage as a conventional halogen bulb will be up to 50% brighter. This in turn makes you more visible on the road lowering your chances of being run over by a truck. Number 3. They look cooler. There's a reason why all high performance cars use fancy LED strips. It's because they look way more awesome. The fact they come straight on, are brighter and produce cleaner light will make your vehicle look that much more expensive. Speaking of price, the front indicators were $17, the rear $8, and the brake light $29. You'll also need to purchase an LED flasher for $20, because the stock halogen flasher doesn't like LEDs. I haven't been able to source an LED headlight just yet, but they should be around $40 if you get a cheap one. All in all, to replace every light on the scooter with LEDs, it's going to set you back just over $100. Now I understand some people might find that too much for some fancy lights, but maybe when you see them functioning, you'll change your mind. So first, you'll need to remove the panel holding the front lights in place. Remove the four screws behind and one in front and pull it off. Then unplug the two indicators and headlight wires. Next, twist the indicator bulb housing to remove it, and pull out the old halogen bulb and install the LED one. Test the indicators to make sure they turn on, and if not, flip the LED around. Don't worry if they don't flash properly, because we haven't installed the LED flasher yet. Next, put the bulb housings back in place, and reconnect the wires. Then refit the panel, and install the screws. Now comes the tricky part. The flasher that comes with the scooter has two pins, but the new one that I bought has three pins. Therefore, we need to do a bit of wiring. Now to install the LED flasher, remove the three big screws in front and two behind. Pull off the white panel and find the flasher. It looks like this. Unplug the flasher and remove it from the holder. On the back of the new flasher, the pin on the left is the ground, or the negative wire. The pin in the middle goes to the indicator switch, and the pin on the right goes to the positive wire. On the plug, the blue wire goes to the indicator switch, and the green and white wire goes to the positive terminal. So, wire the left pin to something metal, like the scooter frame. Wire the middle pin to the two blue wires, and wire the right pin to the green wire. Then cable tie the flasher to the old mount and check that the indicators work. Then reinstall the white plastic panel and the screws. Then move round to the back and unscrew the indicator and brake light covers. Twist anti-clockwise to remove the bulbs and then install the new ones. Again, make sure they are correctly orientated. Then reinstall the covers and just like that, you're done. In a later episode, I'll install the LED headlight because I still haven't found one that will work yet. So now I'll leave you with a montage showing you how much brighter and awesomer the new lights are. Thanks for watching.